All right, I think it's time that we give the 70 some love. And here in just a second, I'll show you what I'm thinking about doing. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And it's been a regular tractor repair shop from the 1950s around here. We're getting ready to work on this 70. And I have been working on great granddaddy's B. John Deere. I could not stand to see it anymore, uh, all rested up. So since I got it running again, I want to finish this so that grandpa can see it in his lifetime all fixed up again. I had kind of fixed up the mechanical area of it a few years ago. I got the whole body of the tractor painted. I had the hood off and painted it. I wasn't happy with it. So I sanded it down and then I decided it'd be easier to paint it in place. So that's what's going on here. Got this all masked up. And uh, I don't know. It looks decent-ish, but not really. I'm not happy with it. I'm going to sand it down one more time. It looks good from the top down, but if you look at it from like another angle, you can still see imperfections in it. But I think one more time, and then it is what it is. I'm not, I, I'm not going to be that particular about it. It's better than it was. So I am not patient enough to do body work. And this tractor was pretty good shape, but the hood and stuff I painted when I was a little kid and I think that kind of made it more difficult in a way. But at the same rate, I think it might have also preserved it, so I don't know. I mean, here you can see the original finish is non-existent, and it's kind of rusty. So the paint probably did help it to not get pitted and whatnot, but yeah, it's making a lot more sanding. So I want to do something to this too in a minute before we get started with the 70, and that is... I want to seal this steering shaft cover up. As if you don't know, you have to take that out in order to get the hood off. So I'm going to clean this up real quick and I'm going to put some number two Permatex on here and wrench this down and let her set up. And then we can take the top cover off and I'll probably put some corn head grease or something in there, thick grease for the steering. And then that, you know, part of it will be done. But I'm happy with the way this is coming along. I think it's going to look nice i ordered the good decals for it uh i always heard that the Jordy decals were the best for a john deere so i called him the other day and they're in the mail so hopefully i'll be able to get this i'd like to take it to our fair this year but i don't know if i'm gonna make it we'll just have to see i have maybe six days from right now when i'm talking to you to get that done this was a pain in the behind if you recall the screen in the grill was bad and there was a hole in it. So I ordered new replacement screens and had to grind the old ones out and then weld these in. And that was a chore. I do not recommend that. However, I do not know if you can buy complete reproduction grills for these or not. But if you can, I think it's probably worth the extra money because it was a bear. And I don't know, I'm still not happy because I can still see my lines where I, uh, you know, was in it. So I might have to, I'm hoping with this primer, it's supposed to be high build primer. I'm hoping I can sand that and make that disappear after a few coats, but we'll see. That was not a fun task, but it does look better now that it's done. Then of course over here we have the 60, which is just hanging out waiting for it for us to get the head back again and then we can start on this project that should not be difficult at all it should be a matter of cleaning it up slapping the head on we need to get a water pump and a thermostat for it as we discovered it had no thermostat in it and i'm still not sure about this water pump i could have swore i put one in and that is kind of a bunch of baloney if i did because that ain't very old at all Maybe I didn't do it, though. I don't know. But, yeah. So we got three tractors, all about the comparable vintage, you know. That one's obviously older than the other two. But, uh, you know, it's interesting to note 
1948-1949 era. Let's just say there. This tractor and this tractor would have been competitors. The B and the 66 would have been, uh, you know, your, if you went to two dealers and were looking for a tractor that size, that's what you would have been fighting between. If you wanted a seven size tractor, like a 77, or the 70 would probably have been more like along with the A, John Deere, and then the G would have been like with the 88, so, or the 80 in the case of that series, so. Interesting how much, when you look at them, in my opinion, how much more refined this is than that. I mean, this is basically the updated version of an old design that they used for years and years and years. And then, you know, this has a lot more comforts, I guess you would say, as far as controls go and whatnot. <clears throat> so, just interesting to see. But let's get to doing some work. All right. Now what I have in mind here is to throw all my fasteners on the ground. That's exactly what I had in mind. Now what I had in mind, I'm going to take this rag and kind of put some brake clean on it and wipe up this surface so I don't run the brake clean all over the paint and end up ruining the paint for some reason. Because brake clean and paint don't always play nice, especially paint that is fairly new, you know. It probably has not had the full amount of time that it would need to cure. But I want to do this before I forget about it because that would be a mess, you know. To forget about this and lose control driving down the road and die in a fiery crash. We want to avoid that. I don't remember what we put in here last time, but whatever it was, was not thick enough because it just kind of dribbled out. That was kind of dumb of me, so... Anyway, we're going to fix that problem this time by doing it more better. There we go. Now, if a guy was smart, he'd just run a bead right around this lip. Maybe it's supposed to have some kind of gasket or something. I don't know. Probably. I don't have it, though. So, I'm doing this. I'm not a two-cylinder repairman. Uh-huh. And these holes are super far in there, too. So, I mean, it had these long bolts in there, which I do not assume are probably not original. And this one may not even fit. There we go. Look at that. Would you just look at it? I think they're 7 sixteenths bolts. In which case it's probably 5 eighths head. Uh-huh. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Sweet. I'm not sure that that's going in all the way, but... Maybe it is. There we go. Wipe off the excess, maybe. Let's get a dirtier rag for that. So we make more of a mess. There. That looks decent-ish. Now, in theory, that should be fine. It's got a little bit of play in it. You might have noticed when we were going down the road. But I think it's good enough for who it's for. 
I don't really know that there's much more I could do about it at this point. It's probably wore enough in that gear that the spot in the middle, it is what it is. But anyway, that part's done. So we're just waiting on this to dry. Then we can sand and try again. And then we need to sand on the grills and then sand on them some more and whatnot. And the cap I have painted. Strangely enough, uh, my cap here was aluminum. And I guess that was probably like a wartime thing, probably where it was left over, kind of like Oliver did with hoods and stuff. I got this steel one that I acquired somewhere over time and I was going to put on it. And I don't like the way it looks. I I just don't like it for whatever reason. It's identical, but it's not, not right. So I'm going to use the aluminum one. The only bad thing about the aluminum one is it's kind of badly cracked here. So I might try to like JB weld it on the back side. That aluminum is super thin, so there's no way I could really have it welded. I just don't think it'll work. And it definitely would not sit uh, flat on here, then it'd probably be sticking out proud to this. So we're going to go with that. I don't know if we talked about this before, but these things use these funny headed, I think they're called clutch head bolts. And there's a special screwdriver thing that's been in the toolbox ever since I've been around that has those uh, to take those out. Uh, I need to get this one out and tap the hole. It's got something in it that's not letting that go down. It's been out. Sadly enough, though, when I went around and I was tapping all the holes out, I broke off my tap down in this one, which is in the radiator. And I was super worried about what I was going to do. And what I finally did, if you don't know, taps and dies and stuff like that are super hard. So you can take a punch and just beat the tar out of them and they will crumble into dust. And that's what I did. Just kept hitting it down in that hole until basically all that was left was powder. And luckily the threads were still good. Uh, you can start one of these in there because I already had those grills mounted on for a test fit. But uh, I wish I had the next length of these actually. But this will in fact start in there because I had the grill bolted on just to test it and make sure that everything was still good from where I had welded. But yeah, we'll get it together in its time. Now, my idea for this is I don't like the way it's running. It could run better. And I think one of the things is spark plug wires. The only thing about these, if you don't know, these spark plug wires are super duper long because they come over here, they go around the front of the engine, and then they come up through here. So the farthest one is all the way back here, and it has to go up all the way to over here. So what to do? I was worried that the on-shelf sets probably were not going to be long enough. And I really like these Napo solid core wires. So what I did is I got the one for an eight cylinder in the hopes that the longest ones will in fact be long enough to make the journey. So we're gonna test that before we ever start because if it isn't, there's no point in doing it. So here is the longest one. Here is the longest one. Let's take it, I guess it'd be easier to just clip it on. And then, I should have got spark plugs too. Shoot, I wasn't thinking. What a surprise that I wasn't thinking. I don't think there's a thing I don't think there's a... Yeah, oh yeah, there is. It's got to go through a metal thing. Well, for test purposes, porpoises, we will... Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. Is that going to go? I will gain a little bit going through the air cleaner. And right now I'm over top of, geez, that has to be, it's going to be close is what I'm saying. And the next longest one, hmm, 
I don't know, fellers. Do I risk it? And then have wires that I can't take back? I guess I could save them and use them on a six cylinder or something else or whatever. I feel like we need to do something. But are we going to gain enough? Like the next one then would be here. So if I put this one on. Maybe. And then I go. See right now I am going to gain a little bit by going through that that to do where did it go hmm I lost it All I want to do is see if it's going to go. Okay, that's got to go up and over. It's going to go. Mm, I don't think it's going to go. I don't think I can do it. I think I need the longest one over and over again for a bunch of them. Because I just don't think, even if I go, hmm, this may be a futile effort. Again, it's going to be absolutely, absolutely the max of what it has to be. Like there ain't going to be no room for error here. Let's see what we got. Okay, the next ones are going to be the same length. And then they're going to get dramatically shorter. And that could be a problem too. Let's try. Let's try the third one. Okay. Oh, I wish I would have got fart pokes too. Like I said, I'll gain a little bit putting them where they actually belong through the loom. But I don't know. See, that's got to go up and over. And it'll be... Jeez. I guess I'm willing to try it. I guess worst case scenario is it doesn't work. I could buy another set of wires and get the longest one out of it. And what am I trying to say? Make a long one for it. So how do I want to go about this? Well, your guess is as good as mine. I kind of feel like it would be handy to just rip them all off and then feed them through as one, taping them as I go. But I don't know if that's what I want to do. Feed them through in two wads. This may interest you to know that the 70 is not one of my favorites to work on. It just, 
there's so many things about them that are different from the others. I'm sure I'm going to gain stuff and things. But I don't know. Oh, geez. What, what do we do, fellers? I just don't know. I guess I'll start ripping. Maybe I'll get the number six one loose. Once I figure out where one of them goes, then I know the firing order and I can just go round and round and round. But what I'm getting at here is I would kind of like to, like, see, they got to go through this hole here. And I would like to tape them together, wrap up a big wad of tape on them so that they're not just rubbing bare metal on this. Because I have a feeling that's probably, you know, kind of what our trouble might be that they're probably pretty thin and shorting out. And I'm wondering if I can... Okay, the plan here now, as of such, is we're going to get the number six, number six one loose. Number six one out. We're gonna work up a number six on them. Number six, I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that one. Well, that's where we go a riding into town. A whopping and a whopping. Every living thing that moves within an inch of its life. All right, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Ideally, it would be cool to, like, save these wires just in case. I screw it horribly up and I have to go again. But, I don't know. I can't really see what I'm doing. I'll tell you the honest truth. It's dark. My eyesight is not that great. Okay, there's that. See, look at that. That looks like that wire is just loosey-goosey nonsense. Okay. That is this one. Come up out of there. And it doesn't even want to come out of the cap. So the right there could be part of our trouble. Nasty. Nasty war. So now what we're gonna do? Ouch! It would probably be easier to take the hood off, but it's not easy to take the hood off on these, so we're not gonna do that. Okay, that is number six. I got it! I got it! So So, if we look at this, then this is six, one, five, three, six, two, four. So, I'm pretty sure it turns the same way better. But anyway, we can double check that by taking off six, two, this should be two. So we'll take this one off and if this goes to number two, then we're just fine, but we'll just, I'm sure it does. I'm just going to do that to verify, just to make myself feel better. But like we've said before, firing order for six cylinder engines. Just think of it like this. 15 is too young. 36 is too old. 24 is just right. 153624. The firing order for a six cylinder engine. All right. Yes. Nasty spark plug wire. Now, if all is right with our life... Oh, I broke that one. So I don't even have to worry about dismounting. I would say that this is not a wasted effort. These wires are junk. So... Okay, that one is this one. If this is two, then we will just go about pulling them all out and starting over. Oh. Remember, that should be two. Oh yeah, that is two. Well, we're pretty well committed now because these wires are garbage. So, and we may have to get a different cap because that one has uh, 
part of the watch me stayed down in there so yeah so six two four so that would be one five three six two four so number one is the one back here remember that and tell me when i forget after a while one five three six two four we're ready for a massive wire delete got out of here i don't know you Oh, the coil isn't even tightened down. That's nice. <sighs> yeah, we need to dig out that nonsense. This is a cheapo cap, too. So, I'm pretty sure I have more of these. Maybe I just want to get a different one. Do I? I'm cheap, though. Well, new plan, friends. We're going to get a new cap because I can't get that dug out of there. And that's okay. But I will say that I did have trouble with these cheapo caps before. So I got to see what I got on hand, and I'll be right back. All right. I found something. It's not my favorite brand, but I bought whenever... <laughs> oh, looky there. Good one. Whenever our Orschland Farm Store went out of business in town, I bought every Delco cap they had. And I think they must have also been shipping some in from other stores because there was a bunch of them. But the problem I had with them is sometimes they don't fit tight on here. There seems like there's a lot more slop in them side to side. And on some of the tractors that did cause an issue. But this one it might not. But now I have to make double sure, you know, that I get this the right way. Two, six, okay, yeah. So, this one was number six, which makes this one number five. Next, no, the three, five, one. One, five, three, six, two, four. One, one back here one five three six two four yeah we got it in our brain now so now we're just going to disassemble all these wires because look how crappy they are they just pull right apart they are garbage and we are going to desperately hope that we have enough wire to get where we need to go so we're going to do a massive delete We don't want to pull on our new wire now. We just want to pull on our old junk wire. Can we get them all as one? No, probably not. That was asking for too much. I knew it would be. They actually have to go through three jumps to get up there. And right, yeah, there's three holders. Get out of here, wire. So... That. you guys now hold still or i'm gonna take you turn around the car and head right back home i know there there's another one i told you not to do that now are you not gonna listen to me or what if you people don't behave I don't know. If you break the new GoPro case, that's ridiculous. Couldn't even use it for one video without you tearing it up? That's nuts. That just shattered. Yep, they're still trash. Come on. Are some of these taped together or what is going on here? That one looks like it's melted. Okay, we'll table that for a minute. Come on. Oh, that's a good one. Sure. <laughs> okay. <sighs> what is happening? Oh, one of those little doodads didn't get taken off. That explains so much. Okay. Now, there's not a lot I can do about these things. 
I'm just going to kind of roll with them. So we'll start with number six. And I'll feed it through all these and try to get it over here. What a dance this is becoming. Okay, that is six. Oh man. It is just, just barely going to make it. As a matter of fact, well, I don't want to do that either, but I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about modifying these brackets a little bit, as in bending, or maybe even skipping. Let's see what we got before we cry. How tight is it? Well, I'm wondering if I gained... I think I went around this, and I'm thinking that was wrong. Let me go behind it. And if that, I think that'll work just as well. Boy, I wish they would have made it just slightly longer. And that's funny because most generally you don't need anywhere near this length. Like you, you throw away a lot. So I really want to be about like that if possible. Where they're not just pulled to the max. I think it'll work. Let's put it in. Now's the time when we do something stupid, see? Like we forget to put the boot on first and cause ourselves all kinds of grief in that regard. So we're going to try to do this correctly. Maybe, if we can get rid of all the stuff we don't need. Now, did they give me my little... Did they give a little tube of uh, the grease this time or not? Sometimes they don't. I don't think they did. That kind of blows. So we will find some grease because it makes it so much easier to slide the boots over this on, on the, yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right. Never throw anything away. See? I threw away this empty tube of grease. Let's see, there's going to be just enough to help me get that slid through there. This is not my preferred method here because we're not, uh, what am I trying to say? I usually like to do this before I strip the wire. And see, now we got the wire out. And we don't have any room for error here. Yeah, like when I do what I just did there, and we screw this up. I guess what'll happen is I'll just end up breaking down and ordering the correct set from Corvez or somebody. When this ultimately fails. All right. We don't have any room. That is six. Boy, my grease didn't really help on this. That must have been a the wrong kind of grease or something. I never had trouble like that before. It always slid real easy for me. Jeez, so far this procedure is not going as I would like. Much more difficult than normal. Let's try the next one, which would be number five. We'll see if we can get it fed through there. I 
Okay, this is five. And so that would equate to one five. It needs to go here. And that's good. We'll have plenty, plenty length on that one. So we need to get in our bag of tricks, get our supplies, try our grease again, but boy it just didn't, it didn't take last time. This old green grease I got from somebody. Maybe I just didn't get enough on that last one. That's sliding much, much more better. It would be better if it was the dielectric grease, though, so that it wasn't, you know, doing something strange electrically. Oh, oh, oh. I've probably explained this before, but I use this cheapo pliers to do the final crimp because it keeps the thing in round. It's got a slot for this. Let's see, one, five. So that one goes here. Now, will this slide down easier than that other one? Or is it gonna be the same trick? It's probably gonna be the same. Slides up, doesn't slide back down. What the heck? Come on. Now, bunch of baloney. Come on now. There. There. Okay. Now, we got two of them in. So one, five, three, six, two, four. So that'll be the next one. And I think we got it out there, so we'll feed it through. All right, camera got too hot and shut off, but I got that done. So here's the moment of truth. Let's find out if it will run or if we made it worse than it was before. Probably would be good if I hooked up these battery cables. Good. All right, neutral. Ooh. Oh, you know what would help? Turning the gas on. Turning on the gas would probably make it run. All right, now. does run a lot better. Still not perfect. We need to fix our exhaust leak and we need to mess with our governor because I do not believe that we have very much governor action at all.
Yeah, I remember several videos back when I said I thought it needed a head gasket. I'm pretty sure it does. I remember now. It runs good until you get it hot. And then bad things happen. Like such. So, it is good enough to soak all your brand new wires for when it puts the compression into the water. But what I'm saying is, yeah, see, that's hot now. So, GoPro died again, but what else is new? As I said, it obviously does need some head work because in short order, it starts to overheat and it also smokes a fair bit so i would say that you know a working over of the head some valve guides and a new head gasket would probably do this thing wonders it worked for a good long time as it was and uh, like i said we're going to try to take care of that here shortly because i don't want it to just sit here doing nothing i want to be able to hop on it and use it for something so that's what we're gonna do. We might wait till after the fair. I may take it to the fair, wash it up and just drive it on the trailer and then take it so that there's a tractor there, you know? So I might do that. I might try to hurry up and get those fender extensions put on though, cause that would be super neat to see. But I don't know if I'll get all this stuff done before the old fair, which starts next week. So I have to have it there at the end of this current week. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll get all that done, but at any rate, we got to hear it run, got to take it on a drive. We definitely improved the spark plug situation, although I wish they were not covered with water now, but such is life. Uh, yeah, so we'll work on this some more in future videos, but it is a runner somewhat and drivable. We just need to make it where it is consistently usable which is my plan for everything here you know i always figure you got to get them while you can save them while they're available and you can always make them better later on so and this thing did great for years i took it to the fair all the time and used the belt and ran a sheller and stuff and it it didn't miss a lick over there but it's tired now it's time to give it some attention so that is our plan as always, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. That doesn't cost you anything. It's supposed to help out my channel. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you like or don't like. Tell me you hate me. Tell me what equipment you want to see next. Uh, any of that stuff is supposed to help us. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.